to done that walkway right there is for me. Let's go in. Here is our sweet potato. We're not able to harvest because it's all bad now. <laughs> this how it's look like when it's not ready yet. And then right here, that one is that's it's look like when it's ready to plant the rice in there. This thing here that you can walk the work that thing to make sure no hole inside or waters go to the other neighbor's farm because they have different kind of filterizer or medicines for their uh for the insects yeah so as you can see a lot of something like this in there that you can walk look at that right there and right there it's lots and even here right there also the the maintenance that who do the farm uh, they can't do that all by itself so they need to pay someone to help them to get it done like these neighbors they have three people did that for around four days they done because it's a huge uh, farm that also done the carabao work yesterday for uh, to clean the something like that the area in there So before I forgot to mention, to done that walkway right there is uh, the payment is every day. So if you pay someone, it's 500 pesos for a day or 400. It's around the price is right there. So this kind of banana that you can see is called Senorita. And this was the kind of banana like it really smells good and tastes very, very sweet. So we have different kinds of banana here that other kind of banana that you can cook is called, uh, we call it carnava. And there is more and we have a huge kind of banana also. But this one is one of my favorite. But if you know about the banana Q recipe, that one, those kind of banana is called carnava. You can cook that kind of banana. Mama's gonna do a garden right here, near in my house. But the, the soil kind of really sticky and moody still. That's gonna happen to the soil when you are near in the farm. When it's rain, like lots, it will be something like that. The soil is really moody. There's water in it. Look at this one. It's a part of coconut tree, but the the grass is like to grow here. That this kind of grass is really lots. Yesterday it's sunny, but today it's kind of rain. I think.
My pineapple is growing good. No fruits in the calamansi. I was trying to plant in orange here using a seeds and it's not working, it's not growing. Ulata na lang uga ma. Ulata na lang uga. And also when you are near in the farm, you can't have a good quality of water if you create something like water well. But in the other place, like uh, it's far from the farm rice, you can have a water well. Like there's a good quality of water though. Barney is mad if there's people coming. I wake up very late and I just have my coffee right now. And before that, I having my coffee, I just from the road also, I bring my water there, my water container, because I need to buy some water for me. Let's go in. Today is a beautiful day. Have my lunch and breakfast. Noodles with bell pepper and tomato. Today I will share to you how much people paid from doing planting of the rice here in the province. So if you are interested about planting rice if you are want to know how it's work here please consider to watch this video and i truly appreciate that a lot so the price here if you are if you are an owner of the farm the price here is every hectare it's cost six thousand pesos so you paid six thousand to a group of people and those six thousand pesos is the service that people can provide is to carry your uh, bundles of rice to put it everywhere of, of the parts of your every parts of your farm and also they do a line that make your farm look good and also they do planting it's a group of people with a one litter so six thousand for every hectare they divide that to everyone who joined that planting day so everyone have the salary if they are working but that divide kind of thing that they do everyone have same amount of salary that they can receive same amount of money that they have everyone have including the leaders and there is another ways and rule of the planting that they have this uh, there's a group also people they do they call it bloxer and that bloxer thing is it depends if you are a pass kind of person if you're faster to do planting you earn much more and if you are slower you earn low also so it depends how much you done to planting how big the area you done that's how big also the amount of money that you can earn from planting in that day so those amount amount that the first I say that they are dividing to every people those things are good one for me because they are helping each other to get done the job but the blocks are one if 
you want that's the kind of big area you want to plant and then when you done that area that you have you're gonna go home and leave and those people who are really slow to done that job they will working alone in the rice field so to do together is really good for me because no one's gonna live alone and everyone go home in the same time thank you so much for watching i hope you do enjoy this one always remember to take care and stay safe and as always god will bless you all thank you so much guys again for watching and i see you in the next one bye morning